trying out another product today on my hair and it's this punky temporary color spray in platinum now i bought this based on the color of the cap um there's one down called icy white but it looked very dull like a almost uh, bone color and the girl recommended me to try this one first and obviously she says if I don't like it I can return it but I usually don't return things um, like this this was six dollars at Sally Beauty Supply and it has a little ball in it it's like an aerosol like a hairspray so what I wanted to show you was this little thing that I made just to see so this is what the punky is supposed to look like in platinum. This is what the L'Oreal La Colorista looked like in silver. You just spray it on a piece of paper and they look very similar. But I do know when the L'Oreal dries, it does become very, very white, very, very silvery, which is really nice. This one, I don't know what it'll do when it dries. So let me try it and I'll show you. I'm covering my shoulders just in case there's a lot of overspray. I don't know. And I'm going to shake it really well. You can hear it. And again, this one is more like a hairspray. This is what I read online. And I'm going to see if it adds any color to my hair. I tend to be lighter on the touch than some people might be. But again, I'm just gonna try it, see what it does. Gonna put a little underneath. I can feel it's cold, kind of like a hairspray. Okay. Um, I'm not seeing anything on my hands, so that's pretty good. Um, but I don't see any color coming out if it's if it's platinum and it's going to come out like similar to the color of my hair I'm not going to see any difference so like I said maybe I need to try the lighter color let me see how it looks when it's dry I'm not getting a lot of overspray but then again because of the color I'm not going to see a lot of it um, I know people have said when they've used black or pink they get overspray and it's everywhere so with this let me see how it looks once it's dry i let my hair dry and it does definitely in the daylight looks lighter again i used a very light hand putting it on but you can see there's a little bit of a difference it's not going to be extensive unless i spray it really really heavy and I don't see any residue per se on my hands. Like I said, I only did a light spray. Um, I can try spraying it once more and show you what it looks like. It did definitely make my hair lighter. And because it's aerosol like a hairspray, it might be an easier application than for some people to do the, you know, the L'Oreal Colorista. I like the way the L'Oreal Colorista comes out. It's very white and because it has um, this kind of an applicator top to it, you can sometimes pinpoint a little bit better where you want to put the streaks um, with this one because it is not really what I call a hairspray. One of their recommendations is to put hairspray on your hair, then spray it on and do it that way. So right now, this is what it looks like with one application. Um, I'm going to put this around my shoulders again and I'll put a little bit extra on because like I said, I'm very uh, conservative when it comes to doing this. Definitely my Hands feel cold because of the aerosol and a little bit damp, but again, here, now I'm starting to see color come out on my fingers a little bit when I touched it, when it was still wet. So just 
be careful and mindful of that. Um, that's just me because I'm touching it. So let's see how it looks in another five minutes or so. So now here's what my hair looks like after a second application, just in my natural light in my bathroom. Like I said, when I ran my fingers through it wet, I did get the residue on my hands, but not a lot. It just washes off. Um, but this is what it looks like all the way around through the back. Again, I did mostly on the top, but I will tell you that I used probably half a can of this, at least a third of the can of this, just for this small amount of hair. Because it's aerosol, it does not go as far. It's like really aerosol, like a hairspray, as opposed to the other one does spray out, but it's got a different tip, so you're actually creating more defined spaces on your hair. You're able to not get this wide spray, like on this kind of applicator. So if I like the way it looks, it's fine if you want to use it, you know, try it. I would try it. I do like the L'Oreal Colorista better just because of the applicator tip. And I do feel it makes my hair a lot wider. Now they do make, again, the Siberian Ice, they think they call or Icy White now. And I can try that and see if that will give me a, a brighter color. But because again, it's a hairspray, I am going to tell you, it makes your hair a little stiff like a hairspray will. So just giving you that information too. It's uh, a little stiffer, might feel just a touch sticky. I'm not getting any residue on my hands. So that's good now that it's dry. So overall, I like it. It's fine, but um, I might say you might need a lighter color. Uh, the lighter one, the icy white, if you want more defined color and it might look different under a brighter light. So this is what my hair looks like if I turn on my bathroom lights and I'm under artificial daylight and it may look a little brighter and it's it's fine. I think it looks nice. It's just not probably as white as the L'Oreal Colorista is. The, the other one is really more of a pop of silver definitely a pop of silver. So maybe I need to go down and try the color that was one lighter than this. I called it um, an icy white. So that could be my next option, but it did work okay, except I did find, like I said, it's a hairspray. It can be feeling a little tacky. Um, it did come off on my hands when it was wet, which I expected. I did not get a lot of overspray that I could see because of the color. Um, I used a lot of it just for this small amount of hair. So if you have a lot of hair, it may not be the option for you. Uh, it's temporary. I haven't tried washing it out. I never had any trouble with the temp color of L'Oreal washing out. I'm assuming this will just wash out fine as well. Um, but overall, it's one to try if you want to, as opposed to using the L'Oreal Colorista. This one uh, is easy to use. It's readily available at Sally, Sally Beauty Supply. It's a little cheaper than the L'Oreal as well. So if you like this video, give it a like, a share, a thumbs up, and a subscribe. I'll see you next time on Big City Girl, Small City Living. Bye.